I had a lot of fun making this little project. It's a little piece for the garden. It's made entirely from uh, waste wood or firewood in fact and it's a great quick little weekend project. Okay so the way I'm going to construct this is that I've got uh, this lump of wood here I'm going to use the turbo plane to shape some nice flat sections here I'm then going to join the stems of the toadstools uh, using the mini turbo to do mortise and tenons I'll show you how to do that I'll join that on and then I'll take these rounds and then I'll put, attach them to the top and then I'll sculpt the the, uh, uh, the, the heads of the mushrooms. Very easy project. Now you could do this using a forked uh, uh, stump and just cut that off at the bottom but I just happen to have this piece in my wood pile so uh, I think I'd make good use of this. It's a nice wide piece for the base so I'll just sculpt it and then join it onto it but as I say you could use a forked piece of wood to do this as well. So now I've uh, attached these stems to the base and I've used a heavy epoxy glue, a two-part epoxy glue, because this is going to be outside, you want it to be quite re uh, resilient to, uh, for the weather. Um, and now there's nothing left to do but to take the rounds, shape the rounds into a toadstool or mushroom shape. These then go on the top of the stems. Now a piece like this, uh, well I don't even want to speculate how much I'd charge for a piece like this, but the point is that really you're talking about a couple of hours work, um, especially if you've got a bit of wood lying around the garden or, or green waste. Um, and quite frankly you could make a lot of money making these. I think I could make about probably three or four of these a day. Um, and uh, as I said, uh, I think I'd get quite a good price for these. So, you know, think about that. Uh, there are some really simple ways you can make good money doing this sort of work. And every single piece is individual. There's no chance that anybody can repeat one of these things. So to do the tenons, I've made this template that you see down here. You can see that I've used a hole saw to cut out the, uh, the center. I'm going to use the hole to machine out the holes in the block, in the base, and I'm going to use the, the piece from the center I'm going to put onto the end of the stems and I'm going to use that as a template to machine the tenons. So very, very simple. One thing to remember, you need this hole to be at least 80 millimeters in diameter. If it's less than that, you might find it's very difficult to hollow out the center. Okay. okay. So here you see the mortise, beautiful deep mortise, and uh, when I make the tenon on the other end, it'll just slide into there. So here I have my two mortises, nice and circular shape, and uh, I'll now do the tenons on the ends of the stems. Just using a mortise gauge to ensure that the mortise isn't too deep. You want to give yourself probably about five mil clearance at the bottom of the mortise. 
Now all I intend to do is to run the, uh, holding it nice and steady, I'll just now run this around the outside here and bring that down following the template. Now with the tenons, you do need to be a bit careful. It's better if I can get around here because what you have to do is, is go in the opposite direction of the rotation. In other words, for the tenons, you, you go in an anti-clockwise direction. And for the mortises, you should go in a clockwise direction. So that you're always going against the motion of the cutting action. If I go with the cutting action, for instance, if I go in this direction on the that, it'll actually pull a little bit and uh, make it difficult to get a nice clean finish. But with a bit of care and getting your stance right and finding your angles, because you're cutting on end grain, you've got to be a little careful and then you can get a nice smooth action. So it's not necessary to go to the very full depth. Um, it doesn't matter if the tenon's a little bit short. Um, it's more important to get a nice surface here. You can see I've got a couple of rough patches here. So before I get to that, I'm going to concentrate on getting a nice clean uh, level cut. Just to uh, check for flatness, I just use the template to place it over it and just see how, uh, how flat it looks there. And that looks quite good. A useful thing to do when you're shaping the head of the mushroom is just to roughly find the centre of the log and just mark that uh, so that you know, uh, so that the shape is roughly sym symmetrical, otherwise you could end up with it uh, a bit warped. Not that it matters a lot, but I, I find the log itself can be an, an, uh, not necessarily round. Um, and so I just mark a spot here and what I'll do is I'll shape away all of the top, uh, leaving that to the last moment. Um, one of the things that I'll be doing is holding it in a vertical position like that so that I can stand back and work around it and get it roughly symmetrical. And I'm working against the grain. And working against the grain gives a fairly rough finish with the turboplane. But you can see if I go with the grain, like here, it's very, very smooth. So what I'll do is I'll do a lot of the shaping against the grain to get the rough shape. And then before I finish, I'll then go with the grain to get a nice smooth finish. Now, you could do this a lot simpler than I did it. I actually just, I actually did a lot of uh, joinery and that sort of thing. But in actual fact, what you could have done is just used a, a tree trunk that's already split into two. You could cut the trunk off at the bottom or, or you could leave a, a tree trunk in the ground if it had a fork in it or even just the one uh, toadstool. So all I've done is attach one block to it. And probably what I'd do if I did another one is I'd just simply trace the pattern of the, uh, of the branch on the base, and then I just machine that out with the mini turbo and plonk it straight on. It'd be so much easier. Um, this sort of thing you could do in a couple of hours, literally. So very, very simple job.